Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up the April Accio box and take a look at the shape of this box. It's thin, it's wider, it's longer than past Accio boxes, so I'm curious to see what they have filled it with. Now, this is one of the last few monthly Accio boxes that will be sent out before Accio changes to a quarterly subscription. We'll see more items in each box, they'll have more time to curate the boxes, so they are completely doing away with this monthly subscription service and moving to a quarterly subscription service. For more information on that, go to AccioBox.com. You may have noticed this Quibbler Staff Reporter shirt. This is one of the AccioBox's buttery soft t-shirts. If you've seen a past AccioBox unboxing here on the channel, first of all, welcome back. You know that I love Accio's magical t-shirts. They turn you into a staff member of certain magical shops or immerse you in other ways in the wizarding world. I love them so much. It's like, you know, it's almost like I should do some sort of t-shirt collaboration with Accio in the future or something. That could be pretty cool. Maybe do some other type of collaboration as well with them. I don't know. We'll have to see what the future holds. I'm gonna get that schniggly out of my eye. But let's take a look at the box because I want to get inside of this box and see what is in here. On the front it says fragile contents or fragile contents. Please handle with care. Magic delivered. Find out more about Accio at AccioBox.com. And then we have some social media information. Recently I have known a few of the AccioBox themes, but this one I have no clue whatsoever. One, two, three, the box has been opened. Oh, the spoiler sheet is on top. I did not see what it was, but we're just gonna, oh, it's information about the quarterly. Okay, wait, but is this the spoiler sheet? Yes, all right, so that underneath is the spoiler sheet, so we're gonna, what do I do with it? I don't know where to put it. No, if I put it over there, I will definitely go look at it. Let's put it under the box. It's under the box. All right, but we can look at this, and oh, I think I know what the theme is already, <laughs> okay. So on the back, it says, what will come will come, and we'll meet it when it does. That's a quote from Hagrid. So this might be, <gasps> I think I see a buttery soft t-shirt. This might be a Hagrid's box. But let's take a look at this information here. Important news, your Accio box is going quarterly. So it starts in June. So they will ship June, September, December, and March. The new price is gonna be $64.99. That's every three months. So they're moving away from their monthly boxes. I will put this on the screen. You can read it if you would like to. Again, and check AccioBox.com for more information. What should we do? Should we just go for the shirt? Let's just go for the shirt. We're going for the shirt. I already talked about the buttery soft t-shirts and oh, there's lots of stuff in here. We have, dun 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 dun, Forbidden Forest Ranger. Forbidden Forest Ranger, all right, so always on the back of AccioBox t-shirts, there's like an advertisement of some sort. For example, on the back of this shirt, there's an advertisement. So let's see what we have on the back here. Visit the Forbidden Forest, Black Lake Unicorn Preserve. I see what they're doing here. They're making this like a souvenir shirt for a forest preserve or like a national park. Here's the really beautiful artwork that's on the back of the shirt. And then on the front chest, it says Forbidden Forest Ranger. Okay, so this is actually isn't like a souvenir thing. It's you are a national forest or forest preserve ranger for the Forbidden Forest. I like the idea, but also I'm not sure if I like the idea. Amazing design, love the t-shirt color, love the back. The back is stunning. Look at that artwork. I think what I'm not loving, I don't know how to explain it. Like the Forbidden Forest is just the Forbidden Forest. It's not a national park, it's just the Forbidden Forest. I guess it could be a national park or a forest reserve of some kind, but it's just the Forbidden Forest. Like people can't come to the grounds of Hogwarts and just visit the grounds of Hogwarts. And since it says Black Lake Forest Preserve, the Black Lake is on the grounds of Hogwarts, so it's not really a tourist attraction. It's just the grounds of a school or Hogwarts. I don't know, it's like, I love the shirt. I think it's beautiful. I just don't know if I love the concept or the idea. It's definitely a great idea and out of the box, but I'm not 100% set on it. All that said, I am putting this thing on, so let's magically change into it. All right, the shirt is on. I am now a Forbidden Forest Ranger, or a Keeper of keeper of the Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts. That may make me like it a little bit better if I'm like the Keeper of the Forest. So it's like, maybe it's like a school club. Okay, I'm liking it more. I'm like making up a different idea probably in my head. So it's like the Forbidden Forest Ranger Club. For me, I'm just gonna call it a Hogwarts club that Hagrid is involved in, even though it's probably not 
what they were going for. Are you like, Peter, no, that's totally incorrect. I love it. I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea too, and I do love it. I just don't know if I love the idea of it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Either way, we have a buttery soft t-shirt. We have like a heathered design. I think this is called heathered. Really well printed, just like every other Accio shirt. And just like every other Accio box, the artwork on the back is fantastic. All right, next up we have what looks like a tea towel. And I think they're, oh, it's gonna be rock cakes. There's gonna be a rock cake recipe on here. Hagrid's rock cakes recipe. A pinch of salt, flour, mix mix, something sweet, moo egg, not dragons, a jar of pebbles is optional, raisins or mixed fruits, and baked until golden. Quick tip, better dunk your cookie before taking a bite, you know, to soften it up a little bit so you don't crush your teeth. Caution risk of cracked tooth. Very cute item. It's a fun design. It almost looks like something that Hagrid would just sketch real quick. I don't think it would look as nice if Hagrid had done this. I mean, we know what his birthday cake to Harry looked like. But that said, maybe it was like this amazing decorated birthday cake and he just accidentally sat on it and then got it squished and then it looked terrible. So maybe it was like the greatest decorated cake in all of the Wizarding World, but he just smashed it with his butt. Now there is something to think about. So maybe we are underestimating Hagrid's skills to create something beautiful just like this. This could be used as a tapestry for decoration. This could be used at a Harry Potter party. We may have to just like try to make this one day, minus the jar of pebbles, of course. We'll just throw a bunch of stuff in and mix it and bake it till it's rock hard. It's very well printed. It's not screen printed, which is nice. So this is something that you could wash. I would probably still use your machine on a delicate to wash it and maybe let it air dry, but really, really fun piece. All right, so we're definitely a Hagrid box in here, which is awesome. I've not ever opened up, I don't think, a Hagrid box in the past. All right, we have another recipe. This is for my favorite vegan sugar cookies, and it's from the kitchen of Rubius Hagrid. A very fun alternative recipe to the rock cakes. If you wanted to try these and you are vegan, I will put the recipe on the screen for you to copy down. Very cute, and it's all ink blotched and stained and old and something that he has kept in his hut for a little too long. There's a lot in here, holy cow. It's almost like this is their quarterly box, but it's not, this is just their monthly box. All right, we have a cookie cutter in the shape of a pumpkin for you to use with your vegan sugar cookie recipe. Basic stainless steel cookie cutter in the shape of a pumpkin. It's a fun little addition. So this is overall, a, oh my goodness. This is like a baking box. It's like a Hagrid's baking box. Keeper of the Keys Rock Cake Roller. Care instructions, use a Scourgeify spell to clean, or if working in a non-magical kitchen, use a dry pastry brush or soft washing up brush to wipe away any leftover dough and flour. Do not put in the dishwasher. And then it also gives you instructions on how to use the rolling pin. It's a fun box with some Hagrid-like icons on it. And oh my gosh, it's an embossed roller. So basically it rolls out a pattern on the dough and then you can cut out the patterns with this cookie cutter or another cookie cutter or cut them in squares or however you want to do it and bake it that way and then you'll have an embossed cookie. And these are all different Hagrid-like icons, Wizarding World icons. We have his motorcycle, some keys, Monster Book of Monsters, Dragon Egg, his hut, Buckbeak is on here, some spiders, some pumpkins. Really, really fun idea to bring this type of roller into the Wizarding World. That is fun. That is really fun. We have a pin in here. It says on the front, a guide to dragon species of the world. And inside, is it gonna be a book? Like a book pin or maybe have a dragon on it? Ooh, nice, it's super simple. It's a dragon egg. It's a shiny metallic dragon egg. And this one is, it's either purple or blue. I think it's like a blue. I'm a little color deficient, so blues and purples give me issues. But it is a Hebridean black dragon. It's one of only two dragon species native to Great Britain, the other being the common Welsh green. 
The Hebridean black is the more aggressive of the two species and commonly defends a territory up to 100 square miles. That's a lot of uh, miles to defend. Beautifully done. It has individual scales. I like the metallic look. That's not really what I imagine when I think of dragon eggs, so that's a fun reimagined look for this pin. Heavy, again, really like those scales. You can feel the different scales when you rub your fingers on it. Single clasp on the back. All right, what have we here? This I think is like an iPad cozy maybe. So on this side it says, what's coming will come and we'll meet it when it does. Just like that artwork print on the information sheet about their new quarterly subscription. And on this side, it's very cute. So it's Buckbeak in the pumpkin patch and we see Hagrid's huts there in the background. Nice colors. It's a very end of summer picture. Buckbeak is happily laying down in the pumpkin patch. And then on the inside, it's very soft. So I'm pretty sure this is an iPad cover. It's a little bit too small to be a laptop cover. So this will hold your iPad. And last but not least is the Magical Umbrella Company. Okay, thank goodness they've included something to do with Hagrid's pink umbrella. Established 1943, the Magical Umbrella Company is the most trusted purveyor of quality magical umbrellas. Each umbrella is made from the finest materials by expert craft wizards. They're only available in the color pink. Goblin to half giant sized available. <laughs> I like that. Wand shards not included. How to use. Okay, heat water in metal or cast iron cauldron to desired temperature. Add, oh, it's like a tea steeper or a holder. Add tea potion ingredients to magical infuser. Steep potion, remove magical infuser from the tea. Tea potion is best enjoyed with fresh rock cakes or slightly set on birthday cakes. Okay, so it's an infuser, but it's gonna be an umbrella. Very interesting and creative. Very, very creative. So this pops off, yep, the umbrella handle pops off and you put your tea on the inside of this metal container which has a pink silicone tip, you cover it back with the top, and then you stick this in your teacup and it infuses your tea with whatever tea you choose. And when you're not using it, it has this little umbrella stand. Overall, this box was really creative, but this is just, I would never think this up. And this is what we're seeing a lot from AccuBox, a lot of really creative items that we would have never thought about. I think we are safe to look at the cheat sheet, which says the keeper of the keys. We know him, we love him. It's a box themed around our favorite groundskeeper, the hairy half giant who has had all of our hearts since he pulled a slightly smushed birthday cake out of his pocket deserves the coolest box we could curate, and here it is. I would say this is a pretty darn cool and well curated box. Forest Ranger Tea, buttery soft. Students aren't allowed in the Forbidden Forest, except for detention, but someone has to make sure everything is okay in there. The Forbidden Forest Ranger Tea is a great way to show that you're not afraid of what might be lurking behind those trees, and also to show off your love for fantastic beasts. Book sleeve. Book sleeves are such a great way to show off art and protect a book at the same time. Whether you're traveling or just need to make sure a bookmark doesn't fall out of your current read, this lightly padded pocket does the trick. This features an in-house quote designed on one side and gorgeous hut artwork by Joy Addict on the other. Find more of their work at joyaddict.co. Pink Umbrella Tea Infuser. Ah, the magical pink umbrella. This one doesn't have a broken wand stored inside, but instead is designed to hold loose leaf tea and hook over the edge of your mug to steep. If you're not a tea drinker, use it as an ornament, or add some cut up fruit and let it sit in a glass of water, or put essential oils on bits of cloth and use it as a nice smelling decoration. I like the fruit idea as well as the essential oils. Very smart. Cookie Roller Set. Oh, okay, so this is all one set of items, these three things right here. Cookie roller, pumpkin cookie cutter, and recipe cards. We're so excited to bring you this cookie set, complete with a cookie roller with the cutest engraved designs, a pumpkin cookie cutter, and recipe cards, both vegan and not. These are designed to not break any teeth and to add a bit of magic to your baking. The roller is best used with dough that doesn't spread too much while baking. But if you invent a new spill to help with that, let us know. Feel free to share other recipes in the Prefix group. Rock Cakes Recipe 
tea towel. While eating rock cakes might not be the best move, they sure look pretty. This illustrated tea towel with artwork by Karen Leopold, and you can find more art on Instagram, at Karen underscore Leopold, is perfect for displaying your love of these crunchy treats without actually breaking a tooth. If you do make them, consider leaving out the actual rocks unless you have a softening charm. Dragon egg pin. We couldn't do this box without including a dragon egg, and we didn't want to pick just one to feature. So now we have four gorgeous eggs. Love the one in your box or collect the entire set from the shop. Each egg comes with a bit of information about the dragon, and we think our favorite Care of Magical Creatures professor would completely approve. All right, so they have multiple dragon egg options. That's really fun. I personally like when subscription boxes do that because it's a way for you to collect more of the items that they've created. And this is something where I'd be like, oh, I wish I could have like a different color. Alas, you can. All right, fun box, interesting box, creative box, things that I never would have guessed would be in a Hagrid's box or a Keeper of the Keys box, like the roller. Awesome. This is such a brilliant idea. And the t-shirt, although it's like I'm still unsure about how it fits, it makes a little more sense. You're someone who was hired specifically to watch over the animals when Hagrid isn't available, but that's also Hagrid's job. I'm still on the fence about the shirt as much as I love it. It's something I'll wear. I'm just not sure about the concept. And maybe I'm just overthinking it, but that's just what this Harry Potter fan does. So again, let me know what your thoughts are on the concept of this t-shirt. All right, favorites and least favorites. Um, the t-shirt's a favorite. Accio's designed t-shirts are usually always in my favorite list. I love this. This is genius. This is genius. So this is a book sleeve. It could be used as an iPad holder too. I use an iPad as a screen down here and it would indeed fit in this sleeve. So this could be used as an iPad holder. Um, I would probably put that as my least favorite because I like a more simple design with iPad holders personally. So that would be the only reason why it would be my least favorite. It's not something I would personally use, but design-wise and artwork-wise, it's, it's really nice. And I like the quote on the back. And it's not just this artwork repeated. There's something different to look at. I think there's another recipe because they said there is a vegan and a non-vegan recipe, unless they mean to just use regular butter and regular milk in place of the vegan butter and the almond milk. What about you guys? what do you think about this box? What were your favorite items? What were your least favorite items? Again, let me know about the t-shirt. I'm very very curious what your thoughts are. So let me know down below in the comments. If you would like to subscribe to the Accio box, it's still not too late. I'm pretty sure you can subscribe to the May box if I'm not mistaken. And if not the May box, you can definitely check out their new quarterly subscription, which launches in June. So there were like some things I probably shouldn't have said at the beginning of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just modify your memory a little bit. You will not remember anything that I said about a certain possible future t-shirt slash collaboration. Obliviate! What about you guys? What'd you think about this box? What were your favorite items? What were your least favorite items? Again, let me know about the t-shirt. I'm very curious what your thoughts are. So let me know down below in the comments. If you would like to subscribe to the Accio box, it's still not too late. I'm pretty sure you can subscribe to the May box if I'm not mistaken. And if not the May box, you can definitely check out their new quarterly subscription, which launches in June. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?